Hey everyone, Michelle here. I want to do a quick shout out to RAV Power, the entire like company, because I feel like their products are amazing. Now, I know I did a quick unboxing and a very, very short review of the RAV Power file hub that I bought a little while ago. I'll post the link up above. But recently, I haven't had much use for the file hub. And now with the new iPad, iOS, and all that stuff coming out, uh, I think, what, tomorrow? This thing kind of, to me seemed obsolete. And so I was kind of bummed out that uh, this kind of had no use because I paid, what, 45, 50 bucks, I think, for it. But this past weekend or a couple weekends ago, I was at an event for work. And like a dum-dum, I had left my laptop in the car at the time because um, less weight for the backpack, I had to carry around a camera. So it was just uh, me thinking why I carry around a laptop that I know I'm not gonna use. Well, at the end of the event, I needed to have all the footage that my, uh, my manager, my coworker had shot so that way I can use the footage for videos. Well, again, my laptop was in the car and I wasn't sure if I could be coming in and out uh, long story short, I was kind of freaking out and just kicking myself that I why didn't I just bring my laptop? But I had remembered I brought the uh, the RAV Power file hub, so I was able to insert his SD card on here, connected it to my phone. Um, I connected it to the Wi-Fi, the RAV Power Wi-Fi, all that stuff, and it was it works flawless. I can't rave enough about the file hub. I really really loved it. I was able to select the data off his SD card because he had other stuff that wasn't uh, you know, pertinent to the event. So I was able to select everything from that day, offload it to a new folder onto my hard drive, because thankfully I had my hard drive and the RAV power. So it just worked perfectly. You really don't need a laptop when just offloading things off an SD drive. So for that, regardless of what software you guys use or a laptop or anything like that, I highly suggest this, carrying this around and a hard drive versus a laptop. This cuts your weight. It is beefy, but it also works as a um, battery power bank. Of course, it's not as big. I think this has, um, does it even say on here? I'm not sure how much. I mean, it, it gives a good charge, all of that stuff. Plus, it works as a wireless router. It's kind of all in one package deal. I would highly, highly suggest this. So I know this is a really quick review, but I, I was amazed and in love with the file hub. Now, because of that, I'm going on a, on a trip soon and I really needed a good power bank. I don't. Besides this one, I really don't have a designated battery power bank. Now I'm carrying my iPad, uh, my Sony a7 III, a laptop, possibly my Sony, um, my Nintendo Switch, and headphones. So that's, that's a good five bulky things that need a lot of power. So I went ahead and purchased on Amazon by RAV Power their 3200 milliamp hour. No, just kidding. 32,000 milliamp battery power. This thing is huge, but I'm super excited. Again, I need it to long to be long lasting and charge a lot of devices at once. And again, I am so happy how well RAV Power File Hub works. I trust the name, so I really wanted to share this video with you guys. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this battery power bank. Let's see exactly how big it is. Um, and yeah, just go carry on with the video. Sort of rip the box there. Quick user guide, blah blah blah. Alright, so you have your cables and stuff here. So nice, it comes with two chargers, a USB to micro, and then a USB to, wait, what is this? Are they both the same? Okay. So you have two of the same cables as far, um, as far as I can tell. And they also include a nice little carrying pouch. So that's kind of nice, keep it from scratching. And then the actual battery power bank itself. Now I can already tell this thing is heavy. Again, I kind of knew that in getting a big milliamp hour power bank. For me, I would rather have the power than having something light and not carry a lot of charge. So you're gonna have to pick and choose what is 
a priority to you. Ooh, I got some static. Okay. So you have three USB ports here and the one in the middle is called iSmart and I believe that's either a 3.0 or it's just a faster charger rate than these two other ones. Uh, it's kind of weird that they put it in the middle versus on an end but nevertheless there it is and it's labeled for you to tell which which one is the faster one so that's good you don't have to you don't have to guess. Now on the side here is the actual charging. Let's see if I can see it. I'm sorry it's dark but let's see here. Shine some extra light here. So that port right there will actually charge the actual battery power bank. So it's um, one of the micro USBs, I believe, that's included will be used for charging the actual po uh, power bank. On the opposite side of that, you can kind of see a glossy button here. Now that's your battery indicator. If you press it, I don't think I have any charge. Oh, okay. So it does come with a pretty good amount of charge. It have four LED indicators and it comes out out of the box with already three. I'm going to go ahead and set it um, tonight to charge. That way tomorrow I have it ready to go. But that is it. There is nothing else as far as like buttons or indicators, nothing like that's very simple. Just go ahead and connect up to three devices, press this button and you're good to go and charge it on the other side. Again, this I would not recommend this for someone that's wanting something very light because it's not. This thing is heavy. I'm going to have to start working out like crazy so I can like run around with this battery power bank with uh, with ease. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's all I had for you today. Another quick video. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified when new videos are posted because my upload schedule is very inconsistent as you guys have already noticed. I am so sorry, but nevertheless, life gets in the way. But I'll do later on, I'd love to do a review of the RAV Power battery power bank if it's worth carrying around a huge brick or if you're better off just with something slimmer and just constantly having to charge that. Um, so look forward to uh, seeing you guys next time. Bye.